Hey, third grade Trojans, this is Miss G, and today we will review and practice writing a 2.6 paragraph. And what that means is you'll write about one topic, you'll have two points or two reasons, and you will have a total of six sentences. So let's get started. Today you can just watch and listen to this video, or you can write your own paragraph with a prompt as we go along. Hopefully this graphic organizer looks familiar to you since it's the one that we used in class. Even if you don't have a copy of this, you can still make your own or you can write, um, or you can always look back at this to remind you of what a 2.6 paragraph needs to include. So you'll see here's the first sentence. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Today we'll use this writing prompt. What is your favorite holiday? Now, first I have to think about two things before I start writing. I need to think about my purpose for writing and my audience. My purpose for writing is the reason why I'm writing. There are three main purposes that an author might write. Um, the first one is persuade, which is try to convince someone to think or to do something, um, to give information, to inform, and then also to entertain or to tell a story. So today, we're going to inform or give information about our favorite holiday. Like I mentioned before, we also need to think about our audience or who will be reading this writing. Well, since this prompt is from a teacher, a teacher will probably be the one reading the response. So that means we'll need to remember to use good grammar by writing in complete words and complete sentences. And by complete words, I mean, um, like instead of writing the, the letters you are for your, we're going to write the actual word your. Um, and then words like because, instead of writing cause, we'll write because. All right, our first sentence is going to be our main idea or our topic sentence. Remember that it's the main idea of the paragraph. It tells the reader what our paragraph will be about. Now, since my prompt is a question, a good way for me to begin my paragraph is with the topic sentence that restates the question. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. When the teacher reads this paragraph, she will know right away that this paragraph is about my favorite holiday, which is Christmas. Your second sentence is going to be your first point or your first reason. So think of at least two reasons why this would be your favorite holiday. And one of the reasons that my favorite holiday is Christmas is because I like Christmas. Um, I get to buy gifts for my family and friends. So I restated um, the prompt or I restated my opinion. I like Christmas because I get to buy gifts for my family and friends. Now your third sentence has to be an example or a supporting detail that's related to the sentence that you just wrote to that first main point or that first reason. Supporting details explain why, how, or they can give an example. Make sure you stay focused on the sentence that you just wrote, that first reason, um, instead of giving a new reason. Okay, we're staying focused on that first part about how um, I get to buy gifts for my family and friends. So a detail about that is how I do that. I use my own money to buy these gifts. Your fourth sentence is going to be your second point or your second reason. Um, so your second reason why this is your favorite holiday. This is my second reason. I like Christmas because there are string lights everywhere. Okay, we're going to give another supporting detail. We're going to go back to that idea of me liking Christmas because of the string lights. So I have to give an idea or an example about that. And I put, I love how they light up my neighborhood and house. Okay, last sentence in your 2.6 is your conclusion sentence, which restates your topic. Notice how this is highlighted in, highlighted in green, just like the topic sentence was. It's because you're going to restate your topic sentence. Try to say the same thing in different words. So as soon as that little toolbar goes away, you'll be able to see my conclusion sentence. My topic sentence is up here. My favorite holiday is Christmas, okay? And then down here, these are the reasons why Christmas is my favorite holiday. So I'm restating that Christmas is my favorite holiday, just to wrap it all up. 
And here is my completed 2.6 paragraph. My favorite holiday is Christmas. I like Christmas because I get to buy gifts for my family and friends. I use my own money to buy these gifts. I like Christmas because they are str there are stringed lights everywhere. I love how they light up my neighborhood and house. These are the reasons why Christmas is my favorite holiday. Notice I have my two main points for one topic, right? So here's my two main points. I put them both in yellow. Okay, and then I have some details for those two main points or the two reasons. Those are in red. All right, now this is an okay paragraph. It gets my point across, but it could sound a lot better. In Wednesday's video, I will revise this paragraph so that it, include, it includes some transitions that will make it flow more smoothly and it'll sound better. Oh yes, don't forget indent at the beginning of each paragraph. If you're writing on paper, use the two finger indent. Um, and if you are typing, press the tab key one time before you start typing your paragraph. It'll move it over that space. Tomorrow, when you practice your own paragraph writing, here's the prompt you will be responding to. Pretend you could fly wherever you wanted. Where would you go? Discuss two things you would do when you're there or two reasons you chose the place you chose. So your topic is where you would fly if you could fly anywhere you wanted and your two main points will either be two things you would do when you get to the place you would fly or you could give two reasons of why or why you chose that place. Remember that you can use the graphic organizer to help you remember what to write in each for each sentence. So go back to that slide or um, when you do your work tomorrow, I think Ms. Durant's included an example of that graphic organizer directly on your work. Thanks for your hard work to guys, today, guys. Uh, click on the link in the description for a brain break that might give you some ideas for tomorrow's prompt. Have a wonderful day, third grade.